Before we get into another car review, I wanted to share a really quick story. I recently found my grandfather's old SLR camera and finding film for it wasn't easy and same with finding a place that even developed it. But using it was a blast and I was really surprised at the quality of the photos as well. It kind of reminded me of old vinyl records. But let's bring it back to cars. You see, enthusiasts are worried that automakers are spending more time making electric and autonomous vehicles, taking away all the fun to drive sports cars that we know and love. Fortunately, the BMW i8 here sits right between the present and the future. And let me tell you, driving the future is a lot of fun. Before we jump into this car, let's take a moment to admire its design. This is a really striking vehicle, and if you don't think so, you're either lying or blind. While it might not be the prettiest car on the market today, it's definitely attention grabbing. And then there's these doors, which are like millionaire, no, billionaire, three comma doors. They open upwards like this. And there's a ton of this exposed carbon fiber. In fact, this car uses so much carbon fiber and aluminum to keep the car's weight down. It weighs just around 3,300 pounds, which is kind of impressive when you consider that it also packs a hybrid powertrain. One of the really unique styling features of this vehicle is this cutout in the rear buttress of the vehicle. So few vehicles have such an interesting design like that. In fact, I've only seen it in one other modern car, and that would be the Ford GT. And then there are these headlights, which feature laser technology that will impress even Dr. Evil. The lasers in these headlights are 1,000 times brighter than what you get in an LED headlight. And they're more energy efficient as well. But enough babbling about all that nonsense because my video producers want me to get in the car and show how it drives. So let me just gracefully enter the car and get going. Oh. Ah. Once you jump into this car, you're treated to a very unique experience. If you thought that this car looked like a spaceship on the outside, it really continues that trend on the inside with all of these really funky digital displays and controls. It also sounds really weird too, and a lot of that is because there's some sound amplification through the speakers, but behind me is a turbocharged three-cylinder engine that powers the rear wheels, and that's paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. Up front, there's the electric motor that handles the front wheels, making this car an all-wheel drive vehicle. Now the two axles work in combination to give the car immediate thrust and to help rotate it in certain driving conditions. And elsewhere in the car there's a 7.1 kilowatt hour battery that allows it to be driven under 20 miles on electric power alone. That means that this car is an all-wheel drive hybrid and the two powertrains really work together to give this car immediate thrust. It feels so fast. The combined output of this vehicle is 357 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, but don't let those numbers mislead you. This car is plenty fast. Highway speeds come in just over four seconds, and I'm telling you, there is no need to wait for an engine to spool up. It just takes off when you put your foot down. Performance-wise, you can get those kinds of numbers or even better in something like a Jaguar F-Type or a Porsche 911 or even a Chevrolet Corvette. So why would you get this car over those ones? Well, first of all, this looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. And it feels so different to drive than those vehicles because of the hybrid powertrain. It's so immediate and it's really satisfying. Seriously, there's almost no turbo lag in this vehicle and that's usually expected with a small displacement turbocharged engine like what this car has. The electric motors really do a good job of masking the fact that it uses a turbocharged engine and it'll hit an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. There's various drive modes in this vehicle as well, in case you want to drive it more aggressively or sporty, which you always do, or if you want to drive it more eco-friendly and slowly, which you really don't always want to do that. Granted, if you do put this car in the full EV mode, it's super quiet, which is really cool for a car that looks as funky as this. You know, other supercars are so loud and shouty, and then you can drive this car really subtle and quiet, and you don't have to wake up the neighbors in the morning. 
And those different drive modes change the adaptive suspension as well. Now the car always feels pretty stiff, but it won't beat you up. And I found that really surprising with a car that looks as exotic as this. The one complaint I have about it is that the tires are actually pretty thin. 215 up front and 245 width tires in the back, and they do end up making quite a bit of noise when you push this car hard. Inside, you don't get a lot of space. There's rear seats that are useful for storing stuff that doesn't fit in the tiny cargo area, but there's a gorgeous digital dash and a head-up display, and a lot of the trim in here is made up from recycled and environmentally friendly materials. I forgot to mention the fuel economy, which is simply crazy considering the performance. It earns about 76 mpge with a fully charged battery and 28 mpg when driven exclusively with the gasoline motor. Forget the mpg numbers for a second, the gas usage in this car is on par with a Mazda 3. It's also worth mentioning that the car takes 3.5 hours to charge to a full battery using a 110 volt plug, but drivers can capture some of the energy through driving. This i8 comes with a price tag of under $140,000, which when you consider the price tag of the other cars that I mentioned earlier on, seems pretty steep. But then again, this car feels like something truly special and really different compared to those other cars. So sure, you can get more car for less money, but is the i8 really about all that? This car is a compass, pointing the direction for BMW's future design and engineering philosophies. Simply put, it's a gorgeous transition between the gas and electric world. So as automakers tell us that there's going to be more electric cars that we can't even drive, enthusiasts don't need to worry, because as the i8 shows, there's still going to be plenty of gorgeous fast cars to drive. I love old technology just like the film camera I use to take these photos, but cars like the i8 give me something to look forward to because, like the camera, it's still a sensory experience to use, but it really shows you how far technology has come.